Hey, friends all over the world. I want to come to you with this, this insight, this thing that, that God gave me. I've been praying for the last several days, and the Lord began to really speak to me. And as I was interceding, you know, for my family, for uh, our, our church, for the nation, one of the things that the Lord has been dealing with me about, and please hear me, this is not, this is no exaggeration at all. I want you to hear me and I want you to share this, please. Things are not as they seem. Things are not as they seem. We need to spend time in the secret place. We need to gain insight from God so that we can see from his perspective. Don't be moved by what you see. I'm telling you, this is a time right now, beloved, where we have to take our eyes off of what you see. Hear this. This is, I mean, it hit me. Take our eyes off of man. Take our eyes off of man. One of the big problems right now in the body of Christ is that we've put our eyes on man. We've put our eyes on man. We've put our focus on man. The Bible says, blessed is the man who trusted in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. He shall not see when he comes, but he shall flourish like a tree planted by water. That's the book of Jeremiah. Then it says, cursed is the man who puts his trust in man. I'm telling you right now, and listen, I hope you'll hear me by the spirit because God's dealing with me about this right now. We need to focus on him. Some of us need to recalibrate. Some of us need to be uh, reset in our focus. And we need to fix our eyes on him once again. You know, Paul asked the Galatians, he says, Oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? You should not obey the truth. Then he said this, having begun in the spirit, are you now perfected by the flesh? I want to ask you out there watching, and I hope, I, please, I hope you'll catch this. There is no agency or force. I don't care who it is or how many billions they have that is more powerful than God. And I'm concerned that in our in our uh, defensiveness, we have given power to things that don't have as much power as we've given them. Do I feel like there's been some censorship? Yes. But guess what? There is no level of censorship that is greater than the power of God. And God's been telling me, beloved, I, I, I just want to release this to you as he's given it to me. Take your eyes off of what you see. The Bible says the things which are seen are temporary. The things which are seen are temporal. They are, they are, they are in time. They are temporary. The things which are not seen are eternal. Don't be moved by what you see. Don't be moved by what you see. What we need to do is we need to get down on our faces and we need to pray. Don't be moved by what you see, beloved friends. I'm telling you, go into the secret place and seek him. That's where your revelation that's where your insight will come. That's where your guidance will come and the wisdom will come. There's some things that you need to understand. There's some things that you need to receive right now. And, and it may look one way right now. I, don't, I just want to encourage somebody prophetically. It may look one way right now. It may look a certain way right now. But let me tell you something. God is moving behind the scenes. The, listen, the invisible reality is greater than what you see in front of you. 
It actually says in Hebrews 11, 3, it says, through faith we understand, listen to this, that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Remember Gehazi? Gehazi, he was, he was, he had a, a limited perspective. He was looking at what he saw. And the Bible says they were surrounded by the, uh, by the Syrian army. And, and, he, and Elijah said to Gehazi, there's more of us than there are of them. There are more of us than there are of them. And he said, what are you talking about? There's definitely more of them. He said, Lord, open his eyes that he may see. Some of us need a revelation. Some of us need God to unveil what he is doing and who he is so that we can see clearly and that we will not be moved. If you are afraid right now, you're looking at what you see. If you're mad, you're looking at what you see. If you're fearful, you are looking at what you see. If you're in your flesh right now, it's because you're looking at what you're seeing. Don't be like David. Don't number the Israelites. Some of you are going to your bank account and say, how much do I have in there? The stock market is about to crash. And, you're, and you're, what you're doing, and there's nothing wrong with planning, but there is something wrong with fear. Don't be moved by what you see. Hallelujah. Don't be moved. And I want you to share this right now. Share it. Some of you haven't been seeing my post, but I want you to share this. Don't be moved by what you see. God is greater than what you see. God is greater than what you feel. God is greater. And let me tell you something. One of the fastest ways, one of the fastest ways to be deceived is to focus on what's in front of you. I'm telling you, there's so much deception manipulation. Don't be moved. You need to pray. You need to seek God. You need to have faith in his word. Woo. Come on. You got to you got to put your trust in God. Put your confidence in God. Don't look at what you're seeing. Don't look at what's in front of you. You got there by faith. God reminded me, he reminded me, even my wife encouraged me, you know, I, you know, the Lord has done a tremendous growth and, and, and I had to repent because somehow, some way I began to put my eyes back on man. I began to put my eyes and I'm, I have to repent. I began to put my eyes back on man. And I had to say, Lord, I'm sorry for that. That's idolatry. Some of you have been, listen, you've been moved by the praise or the rejection of man. You've been, you've been moved by whether or not people like you or they like your post or they follow you or unfriend you or unfollow you or friend you again or like you. And that's been an emotional roller coaster for you. But understand, that is idolatry. If you're moved by the rejection of man or the praise of man, then that is idolatry. Put your trust in God. Whether people like you or not, put your trust in God. Whether they reject you or not, put your trust in God. Whether people seem to support you right now, it doesn't matter. What did God say? What does God say? Yeah, I know, I know what they said. I know what your friend said or your enemy said or your, or your friend of me said. It doesn't matter. But what does God say? Don't you get caught up in what you see. Don't you be deceived by what you see. Let me tell you something. I found out some people will love you today and hate you tomorrow, but that doesn't change how God feels about you. That doesn't change how God feels about you. I need you to listen. I need you to share this, everybody, every preacher, every leader. God is, is a clarion call. He's saying, take your eyes off of what you see. Take your eyes off of man. Take your eyes off of your resources, your limitations, your fears, your ability. Put your confidence in the Lord. You used to trust God. 
You used to trust God. Remember when you didn't have anything and you had to trust God just to make it through? God says, trust me like that. Remember when you remember when you had to trust him for every little thing you had and all of a sudden now you got little blessings and you're looking and you're counting your blessings and there's nothing wrong with appreciating what God has done. But don't hoard, don't count, don't number to the, to the extent that you're no longer trusting in God. Don't be moved by what you see. Everything around you may be shaking, but the word is steadfast. I'm telling you right now, God is delivering somebody from a spirit of rejection. You've been caught up in what people say about you, what people think about you, how, how people support you or they don't support you. And that thing weighs on you. You go to bed thinking about it. You wake up thinking about it. That's idolatry. And if we're doing that, then we're not putting our eyes on God. He is the lifter up of your head. I lift up my eyes to the hills from which come my help. My help doesn't come from man, doesn't come from chariots, doesn't come from horses, doesn't come from the Federal Reserve, definitely don't come from the government. I'm not waiting on a check. I'm trusting God. Trust in the Lord. Put your confidence in him. Oh, somebody's going to catch this. Put your confidence in him. In Jesus' name, share this with somebody.